Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Stephanie, the hands, hair, and heart behind CornerstoneCreate.com. Today I'm going to show you my first card that I'm submitting for the Alto New Educator Certification Program. The technique I'm focusing on is repeated stamping to create a background. I'm using Alto News Morning Glory stamp set with the shades of purple ink cubes to create an ombre effect across the front of the card. All links to products I use in this video will be provided below in the YouTube description as well as on my blog where you can see more pictures of this card. So I feel like I've been talking about being in this program since like forever, but it really hasn't been forever. Maybe about two to three weeks. So while I'm making a ton of cards, I'm not going to be making a video or a blog post about every single one of them. I might do like an overall one at the end, but it's going to be a while because there are like three different levels to take in this uh, program. So, and I'm just on level one. I want to say there are about 10 classes per level. Don't quote me on that, but you can always go to their website if you want to uh, check it out for yourself. They accept applicants on a rolling basis. So, I know I heard about it this time around on Instagram in their stories. So if you're interested, check that out or just go into their website. I'm starting off a little bit off to the side and a little below the middle of this card just because everything is going to be going in the diagonal direction. And to create this ombre effect, I didn't want to start off at the bottom and then try to go up. It's easier for me to start in the middle of the card and kind of base everything off of that. So I'm starting off with Deep Iris. Then as I go down, I'm going to go down to Midnight Violet. And then when I go up, I'm going to be using Lavender Fields. And when I get to the very, very, very corner, I'm going to be using Soft Lilac. This technique is pretty basic. So you can just watch my hands go and I'm going to talk to you for a little bit because you're here. And I just like to talk. So right now, I'm getting a little close to my birthday, and I'm about to be a woman of a certain age. And I know most people don't even bother with the whole, oh, don't ask her age thing. It's rude. You know, it's 2018, and I'm pretty sure it's not like that anymore. But I'm not going to lie. I'm going to turn the same age a couple of different times. So just already go ahead and know that about me. I'm going to turn the same age that I turned last year, which is the same age that I turned the year before, which is probably the same age that I turned the year before. I'm going to just keep going on like that until I get to a certain point in life where I think an upgrade might be, yeah, it might be important. And since I'm approaching this new yet old number, I've been deeply reflecting about my life and trying to make sure that it's going in the direction that I thought it would be going. Like did little stuff think that big stuff would be doing this right now? And the answer is probably not. I didn't know what uh what life was gonna entail back at that age. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I think little stuff thought that big stuff at this point was gonna be a gymnast. But shh, that didn't work out. Little Steph also thought that Big Steph was probably going to be a lounge singer, but I wasn't going to be a famous lounge singer. I just wanted to be like a local lounge singer that sang pretty all right songs and knew that her level wasn't like great, but it was good enough. Just enough to make money around like, you know, around town and maybe go on like local circuits. I don't know why I was so realistic when I was that age, but that was the aim back then and not doing that either. Can't even get in front of a crowd of people to sing. No, I can't sing that well, but thought it was going to be a career move. I also wanted to be a lawyer, but had a bad experience in seventh grade. And then a lot of things just happened for me around the sixth grade, seventh grade era of my life. So the one incident with my English teacher was, uh, she told me I couldn't spell. And it was something as innocuous as the word Jamaica. She told me I couldn't spell. And she kept writing me up for spelling Jamaica, J-A-M-A-I-C-A. -A -A. And, of course, I mean, if you know how to spell, you know Jamaica is spelled with an I. And she kept telling me that it was not an, it was not spelled with an I. So, me being the jerk seventh grader that I was, I took the dictionary to her. And I said, ow, there it is, bam, I. And just didn't have a good experience with that teacher after that and then i had an uncle 
who was an engineer and he said no don't become a politician they're all crooked and i'm just like yo unk you can't say that about politicians they're not all, you know we didn't we didn't get here without politicians they're not all, they're not all crooked and of course i'm in seventh grade and i didn't know what that even meant but so i was persuaded i was definitely persuaded and went over into math and science and I think about the same time that uh, most girls lose interest in math and science is when I gained a greater interest in math and science. It was something I was always interested in because of my dad. My dad was a mechanic, he was a carpenter, and he was always making things with his hands. And I wanted to be just like him. I still to this day want to be just like him and I'm striving towards that. I'm not sure if I'll ever get there because he was just like a magnificent person. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna definitely try. And that's, you know, I feel like that's why I still do the things that I'm doing now. That's why you're watching me make cards because I still want to make things with my hands like my dad. Pay no attention to the butterflies in the corner. Nothing, nothing, tra la la. That's nothing that you need to be concerned about for now. That might be a video later. But anyway, I'm going to get on to this sentiment and I'm going to get back to this card because I've talked too much. So, on to this sentiment. Using some of the words from that stamp set, I'm using the for you different uh, word sentiments. Mother was up there as well, but I wanted to keep this card wide open because because reasons so this piece of black card stock that i'm using actually came from is a piece of scrap from a very old project that i was working on that's on my blog it was a uh, embossing folders using embossing folders for my cards or something like that i can't remember but uh that's on my blog i might have done a video matter of fact i think i did do a video it's one of my quick card videos so go hit that up if you want to or i'll leave a link to it if I figure out which video it was. Now I'm going to break up my Fiskars Bypass Trimmer or my Guillotine Trimmer. I'm not sure what this one's called. But I'm going to break up my trimmer and I'm going to cut my sentiment down. And then I'm going to mount it on a piece of foam tape. I have a bunch of the small rectangular foam tapes. And I'm going to just cut that in half and put it on the back of this sentiment and put it on the back. And at that point the car is going to be pretty much done. I'm going to call that a wrap and upload it to Alta News Card Gallery and hopefully that they'll accept it and I can go on to the next lesson. So just to wrap things up and put a pretty little bow on them like we like to do as card makers, I'll see y'all next time. Make sure you visit me on my blog, cornerstonecreate.com. Hit me up on Instagram where I spend most of my time. Oh, and I forgot to let y'all know, I recently joined splitcoaststampers.com. Oh, and pay no attention my light went out and I had to put it back on but yeah so it's been a really fun community I encourage y'all to meet me up there and if you haven't heard of it like it seems to be a super huge community and a lot of people are already up there so yeah find me up there I'm cornerstone create up there as well and you'll know who I am because I got a big old picture of me and my cards up there so yeah can't wait to see y'all over there if y'all don't hit me up if I don't see you on Instagram or on Pinterest so y'all have a good day Bye.